What is up party people? My name is Daryl and today I'm going to be showing you all how you can kind of convert your affiliate links and clean them up and also cloak them as well. Now, those of you who are in the WordPress community, you might be kind of venturing off looking at affiliate marketing. You might want to offer services for your clients such as hosting services. And you've noticed that people have this really nice, their domain dash product. And when someone clicks on that link, it takes them to the, their affiliate or their, their web page or wherever you want to redirect them to. So right here, I have darylwilson.com dash Divi. Now, I'm an affiliate for Elegant Themes. And when I type in that right there, you can see that it takes them directly here. And if someone purchases the product, uh, I would make a commission. So I'm going to go ahead and show you all how we can do this on your website using WordPress. In fact, we're going to be using the same exact plugin and system that I use for this as well. Now there's various companies out there. There's Commission Junction, there's ClickBank, there's Share Sale, and there's tons of stuff you can promote. Just simply grab one and pick one and yeah, you know, a product that you trust though, all right? Don't just grab any product, you know? All right, so let's go ahead and go to my WordPress dashboard and I'll be showing you how you can create an affiliate link. And I'll be using an affiliate link right here uh, from my personal account uh, on Share Sale. All right. So over here under plugins, click on add new. And the one that I personally use on all my affiliate links is Pretty Links. So right here we have Pretty Links. And it should be popping up really quickly. And there you go. So short links by Pretty Links, the best WordPress link tracking plugin. Now you can also use other ones. I mean, there's Thirsty Affiliates, but I haven't had, I, I don't like it. I just, I like Pretty Links. You know, that's what, that's what we're doing today. We're using Pretty Links. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and activate that and um, install and activate it. And once you do that, you'll see on the bottom left right here, you have pretty links. So right here, you can click on, or for new beginners, you, you click on add new link right there. All right, uh, before I go over here and show you this really quick, if you click on pretty links right here, you'll be able to see all your um, all your affiliate programs. See, I have quite a bit. I mean, I have uh, you know 150 affiliate links, so I do have a lot. and. It, it actually show you what you're promoting. It'll show you the clicks when it was created. And also it'll show you the exact link that uh, that is targeted right there. So over here, I'll click on add a pretty link. All right, let's go ahead and make one here. Now right here we have redirection. So uh, for those of you who are using the free version, uh, right here it says temporary, temporary, and then permanent. And right here there's pretty bar and cloaked. Now, the one that I personally use is, if you're not sure about the affiliate program, you might change the permalink later, just use the temporary. That's basically saying, I want to kind of use this right now to see where we're at, and then later on, if it's if it's a good affiliate program or if it's something that I wanna keep, you would go ahead and take it and put it as permanent. Uh, I have most of my links on permanent, but uh, for those of you who are brand new and you're not really sure, you might wanna change the link later, you can always do temporary. All right, so that's what, basically what that option is. Uh, cloaked right here. Uh, that's only for pro users. So if you want to cloak the link, um, that would basically be the option to cloak your link. Now the big difference is, is that it has a lot to do with like no follow and do follow links. So you know if you wanted to have a no follow, uh, cloaked obviously is one of them. And you know I've I've heard there's rumors about this, but Google doesn't really like affiliate links. So cloaking them would actually help you for SEO on your website, but that's a myth. I, I can't really say that's 100% factual. But anyways, I'm gonna go to uh, 301 permanents. And right here we have target URL. So right here, I'm gonna go into my affiliate program and I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and grab a, grab an affiliate link right here. We're, we're gonna go ahead and say, okay, um, WP Rocket. All right, and I'll click on get links. So whatever program you're joining, whatever one it's joining or whatever one you're using, um, every dashboard is going to be different, obviously. So right here, I'm going to go to get HTML code and then right here, select URL only. Now remember, uh, for this right here, you want to click on, you want your URL only. So if someone offers you like a banner with like a dash uh, div or dash a ref, you don't want that. You just want the link right here. All right. So this is the link right here. And I'll take this link and I'll go ahead and put it back right here. So right now I'm saying, this is where I want people to go. This is where people will land. Now, what do you wanna call this pretty link? Well, uh, this right here is uh, WP Rocket. So maybe something like, uh, you know, dash WP Rocket. Something like that, something that relates to the product, right? Here you can give it a title and you can also give it notes as well where you can, you know, just learn more about the product or you wanna leave something for yourself. Uh, over here under the advanced options, I gotta be very honest guys, I don't really use it too much. You could add the no follow perimeter, which basically says that it's not, it's, it adds the no follow link to it where, you know, uh, engines won't really pick it up. So that's basically 
what that is. Uh, perimeter following, I don't think many, many of you guys are going to go ahead and use that. And then tracking, of course, you want to leave on tracking. Um, pro options, a lot of you don't have the pro options. So if you do decide to get the pro options, they, they do have documentation for it. But generally, this is all you need. You don't need to do any of this other stuff, you know, but you don't even need to go to the advanced options. In fact, I've been using WP, or, um, Pretty Links for maybe two years now. And I recently upgraded to the Pro just because I, I felt bad. Like I wasn't using their Pro version. And, you know, I, I used it all the time. And I'm like, dude, I don't even have the Pro version. It's been like two years. Like, So uh, anyways, once you're done with that, you'll just click on Create. And that's it. Your link is created. So I already created my link, actually. So right here, I'll just do something like... Uh, I'll just make I'll just make one up really quick. I can always delete it later. All right. Now here's the link right here. So if I copy this or go to and click on it, you'll then see it's going to redirect them to whatever page or whatever affiliate program I'm uh, part of. So that's probably the best way to create affiliate links with WordPress. And again, it gives you uh, statistics. So right here, you can kind of see that it has the clicks uh, when it was created, and then it has the um, uh, the the link right there. And guys, you always want to uh, kind of go back and see if your feelings are working. Like I'm just going to double click on this one right here. Let's just see if this one's working. It's a good idea to test your feelings here and there because sometimes the feelings can break. Sometimes the people that, that are uh, making the affiliate program, they might change the page and they might change the URL. And if that happens, unfortunately, you're going to lose out on a lot of money. <laughs> you know, uh, you're going to lose out on a lot of money. So here's another one and you know, just see if they're working or not. All right, they're all working. Everything's good to go. All right, so uh, go have fun. You know, there's a there's commission junction, there's share sale, there's a lot of other affiliate programs that you can join where you can promote products. Uh, I obviously promote tons. So, um, you know, uh, most of the people I teach WordPress, they're kind of learning WordPress and they're learning how to like you know what affiliate programs are now and they kind of want to get a part of it. Uh, this is what I use and what I recommend to everyone. So, I hope this video was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you want to know anything else about. Uh, affiliate programs or what's the best one or anything that you've come across that you want to go ahead and let me know. All right. All right. So I will see you all in the next video.